Really? I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna do like in theaters and Hulu at the same time kind of deal. I'm gonna watch it on Hulu. Uh, yes, yes. Everybody's gonna watch it. Unless, on unless this is great. That Taco Bell was a big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Much like what they did to the Predator storyline in this franchise. Well, welcome to Two Gaming Dudes, and welcome to another trailer reaction. This is the first time we're watching this. Prey. Click subscribe. I guess is what, Predator 5, technically, is what this is? I don't is? know. Are they including the Alien v Predator series and all uh, that shit? I, I do not know. I don't know. Here we go. All right, here we go. Da, 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 da. Oh, nah. I'd like to ask you a question. <laughs> Ooh, hot exotic chicks. Ooh. Think she's actually Native American or do they just like nah, dress somebody? She's got some Mexican chicken. Okay. Yes. Go kill that fucking bear. Go, dog. Well, that sucked. <laughs> <laughs> There's a beaver dam right there. Just hunt that thing. They're <laughs> delicious. You hunt the beavers. You gotta hunt there, huh? Stab it in the face. Bite it in the ass. Yeah, boy. Does this mean J.J. Abrams is getting involved in the Predator series now? I'm trying to protect you. Protect me from what? <coughs> Boy, you don't know, Charles, how hard it is for me right now. <laughs> I do. I do know how hard it is so for me right jokes. now. So many jokes. I know exactly. Fuck. I know exactly where you're going with this. <laughs> you know... The Soaring Eagle Casino has more nickel slots than any native gaming casino in Southeast Michigan. You know what's crazy is this movie takes place in the 1990s. <laughs> and with your new Soaring Eagle rewards card, <laughs> you can rack up the points even faster. For rooms, shows, food, even gaming tokens. Awesome, she made a ninja oh, thing. Oh, come on. Oh! Okay, wait. This got a lot more interesting. French fur traders. Oh. So we're gonna have guns and shit. This this could be cool. I might see this in theaters. I might watch it on Hulu. Oh, only on Hulu. Oh, only on Hulu. It's not so even gonna get theatrical theaters. Theaters. Oh. Maybe it does suck then. <laughs> <laughs> if they put this together and they're like, we're gonna put this in theaters? Why do you mm, no. Uh, no. Well, of course, they could be basing that off of the last Predator movies, plurals. I, I have a tremendous problem with that series now. Because they caught lightning in a bottle with that first film. Yes, um, they really did. The first film, uh, I, w I went back and watched it recently. Recently. And it is still good. I mean, it's John McTiernan. I mean, it's, yes. He's fucking great. And it's brilliant how they lined it up, how they put this thing together where it just feels like this typical 80s action film and then all of a sudden it takes this crazy dive into the cuckoo horror world. And I mean, it's, it's truly an original, original right. piece. It's fantastic. Um, and then they rolled that. the dice again and made a sequel with uh, Danny Glover and it was not very good. No, it was not. I wish they would just left it the fuck alone. Leave it the fuck fuck alone and then the diarrhea they did mixing with aliens you can't. fuck it makes for a cool comic and a cool video game yeah but it, none of it has translated to the screen no they don't need to be in the same universe the, just sloppy <laughs> and dumb very sloppy and very dumb now what's crazy is uh aliens versus predator i remember reading the novel when that mm. came out it was way way before the movie and really liking it I thought that was really good. And so when they announced the movie, I thought it was, all right, based off of the book, this could be really good. Oh, I'm so no. wrong. It's not based it's on not jack it, shit. No, it was like an original idea. Like, fuck Great. you. Great. <laughs> but not that original. Not really, no. Uh, 
uh, you know, although this actually looked, I know how to this actually looks interesting to me. It kind of does. It's a uh, it's a weird setting that we've never seen before. This weird true. mix of native. I, I mean, you, you you can tell already. The French fur traders, the trappers, and the natives have to join forces. There are these traditional historical enemies, right? And we know there was this angst, and of course the Europeans. We know how that turned out for the natives. Uh, we do. In this case, they have to come together to fight the common enemy, right? So we already know where the movie's going. But it be, it, it, I think it'll be fun to see that happen. I am curious to see what you know the predator outfit looks like. Being you know this is going to be mm. like way in the past. Maybe so. yeah. You know, I'm assuming that even their technology, even though their space wear, you know, and all that, it's probably not quite as advanced as it should be. It's 200 years. It should be 200 years more primitive, right, than what we saw with with Arnold. So I want to see that in the technology. You know, I don't want him to have exactly all the same stuff and be exactly the same character as as the one that fought Arnold. I want to see something a little more primitive. Yeah, don't just copy change the original film. Yeah. Other than. Uh, Boy, you got a big pussy. Boy, you got a big pussy. <laughs> you can bring that back. You said, why did you say that twice? And I said I didn't. See, it's because of the echo. With... <laughs> I, I want to see that in every, every single Predator movie you should have had that. The stuff will make you a sexual Tyrannosaurus, <laughs> just like me. <laughs> if no. you have not seen that original film, Holy you are missing out crap, on the greatest things out. in life. Yes. Like, Some what are you best doing? Best scenes, the greatest one liners. Excellent. It had this wonderful sense of humor in it that I absolutely loved. And it was missing from all the others. And I was yeah. like, oh, that's too bad. And then all of a sudden, the Predators, I think, or something that came out with uh, Michael Keenan. This late, the latest film. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. that one came out. The Keen Peel guy, yeah. Yeah. And when that one came out, they're like, hey, people really like those one liners. How about if every <laughs> single line of dialogue <laughs> is just that over and over and over again? Do it. That's what you get. And that's what you get. Damn it, yeah, you it can't get it right. Garbage. Total trash. I think this is going to be a good one. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so. <laughs> please, the fact that it's going please straight be to good. Hulu isn't the greatest sign, but. Um, you never know. You never, you never know. know. You never know. We're going to give it the benefit of the doubt. I am. I am going to give it the goddamn benefit of the doubt. See what happens. But their track record with this property is not great. No, it is not. I wish they would have left it alone. Okay. Well, there you go. I'd love to know your comments. So leave them down there. Let us know if you're excited for this film or if you give a shit or if maybe this is the first time you've even heard this is even happening. Uh, I'm very excited. Yeah, we'll see what happens. So there you go. Click subscribe.